This message is brought to you by Pillow Cube. Hey everybody, Dr. B here with a truly unique sleep technology called the Pillow Cube. This is a pillow that is designed specifically for side sleeping. Now, I was a little skeptical at first when I saw all the ads. I thought, I don't know, it's square, how could it possibly be comfortable? But Pillow Cube was nice enough to send me a king size Pillow Cube and I told them, I don't recommend any products that I don't personally use. And I used it for 90 days before making this commercial to tell you that this is my side sleeping pillow. The trick with side sleeping is that you don't sleep directly on your shoulder. Instead, you just sweep your shoulder out like this a little bit, sleeping on your shoulder blade, and then enjoy the comfort and supportive, soft, marshmallowy pillow cube. If you're a dedicated side sleeper, I highly recommend the Pillow Cube. Click on the link in the description or in the top pinned comment. Go check out PillowCube.com. After watching this video, they've got a bunch of new products. They've got a sale going on this weekend. They've got a bunch of cool stuff. I love this company and you will too. My spot is right here. Okay. Left shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. um, that sometimes will creep up and affect more, but if I have pain, it's it's there. I would say it happens about once a month. Okay. If I have stress, mm -hmm. more. Okay. All right. So it's affected by stress. What what kind of physical stress or whatever kind of stress? I would say, not physical stress, but mental stress, emotional stress, mm -hmm. life just. Time management. I run my own day and I run my own schedule and I okay. feel like I can feel when I'm behind where I like to be and that's when I start feeling this. Uh, numbness or tingling or pain down your arms? So when this is massaged, mm -hmm. I'll feel a dull and pain in my elbow um, just when this is massaged. How long has it been like that? It's been like that for about five years. Well, has it been treated? I did do a chiropractic um, program. It wasn't specifically for this, it was my cervical curve. Okay. So it wasn't a regular, it was like the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you had a reverse cervical curve. At that time, I did. Uh, yeah, reverse cervical curvature is, is usually a result of trauma. Really? Yeah. All right, so we have one car accident in the past. Do we have anything else? Other minor car accidents, yeah. but but one significant. Any sports injuries? Um, so my hip, when I was, this was a long time ago, but when I was like running in middle school track, it just like went out mm -hmm. and then I fell. Okay. Um, and I did do some like rehab All for right, that. We'll start off with an exam on your spine. Okay. And then after that, uh, we'll do an adjustment. Mm -hmm. I'll walk you through the adjustment step by step. You've already been adjusted, so you know what it's like. <laughs> but we'll just take it one step at a time. If you have any questions at any time, let me know. Okay, looking at the hips first, looks like the high looks like the hip is higher on the right, lower on the left, and then there's more swing out to the right. That's good. Okay, looking at the feet. Okay, heel strike, mid stance, toe off, look okay on the right. The left, I see just a slight little bit of eversion happening. Good, strained out there. That's fantastic. Go back the other way. Let's check the left foot one more time. Good. Oh, nice and symmetrical at the level of the feet. That's good. Perfect. Okay, come back. Okay, we have a high right shoulder, but I don't see any compensating head tilt from left to right. That's good. Clavicles look even. Good. Okay, that looks like a right high. Okay, I'm going to replace your hands with my fingertips, okay? Good. Yep, definitely higher on the right with a high right shoulder. Okay, high right hip, high right shoulder. Good. Uh, put a little space in between your feet. Okay, I'm going to check the arches. Good. I do. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, good. Arches are intact, maybe slightly decreased on the left or on the right versus the left, but that's good here. Like, relax. A little bit of moisture on the bottom of the foot. Good. We're going to reconfirm here, reanalyze. So we've got a high left shoulder, but it was right standing, wasn't it? 
Yeah, well, it's a high right shoulder, high right hip. It's left now in the seated position. Sometimes that happens when you're seated and you're standing, there's just minor shifts and you see changes in posture. Wow, hold on though. This is actually, I don't know if I've ever seen this before. It's not quite. Because when we look at your shoulder up here, it looks higher on the right. And at the level of the scapula. All right, interesting. Okay, looking at the rest of your spine though, there's no other postural changes here in your thoracic or lumbar spine. Looks like you have a good healthy lordosis here. This thoracic curve is, is flattened. Like it could come out just a little bit more, mm -hmm. but that's okay. That's what we would expect from a reduced cervical curve. Once you reduce one curve, all the curves are reduced. Nice and warm, symmetrical at the top of the spine in between the shoulder blades. This is normal here. As soon as we get to underneath of the scapula, it's, it reduces temperature significantly. And then it becomes very moist. Lots of dampness here. So you're familiar with Ayurvedic medicine with the dampness? Mm, yes. It's a very mild trigger point here on this rhomboid muscle, but there's no rhomboid trigger points out here on the right. I definitely feel more on the left. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see where that spot is. Is it your trapezius or your levator scapula is the question. Right there. Okay, we're way down That's here. That's where the pain is. Okay, yes. so this is actually a rhomboid. That's good. That means we'll have some thoracic. So this, so the rhomboid fibers travel diagonally up to the spine in this okay. direction. So we're looking like right around here. For the spinal involvement, we'll get in here and we'll hit this. Yeah, so it's actually really interesting if I'm coming this way. I don't know if I'll be able, I don't know if the camera picked this up, but there's a spasm happening here at the lower portion of the rhomboid as I push into it. Mm -hmm. I can see the rolling of the muscle all the way out here. So there's a lot of tension in that muscle. We're assess the root fibers. This helps us uh, um, locate ilii rotation. All right, so looking at the glute fibers here, I'm going to trace up from the bottom. You're going to feel my ham you're going to feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings. Okay, looking at the bottom of the glute fold here, we're actually lower on the right. That means your right hip is probably going back like that or the left hip forward. Okay, and then looking from the top, look straight ahead. Bring your bring your toes even together. Let's see if you can line up your toes. Like this? Yep, then you just want to like really scoot your left one just inch it forward. Okay, there you go. That's perfect right there. Then looking at the top, the right glute is out further like this. That means your right ilium is rotated externally or your left is forward like this. Good. Almost perfectly even. Mm. It's like just a smidge. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna bend your knees here. Just kind of relax. Good.
Are you ready for me to dig into this muscle? I am ready. Breathe. Nice gentle breathing.
nice gentle breathing. We're going to do a little stretch of the spinal cord. and gentle. Let's follow the next breath out. Okay, coming to the top of the spine. Another breath in. So deep. I felt that on like the front of my chest. I'm sure that we've got this in here the way it should be. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Lean back as you blow it out. Mm -hmm. On the way down, let your head relax. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and push lay that, okay? okay? Good, nice and gentle breathing. Okay, so very similar. This was the side that's going back and out. So I'm gonna use my hip and push right here to help push this back in, okay? Okay, nice and gentle. Turn your hands to your face. Actually, you know what? Come, that's good right there. Like, like just there. Good, okay, breathing in and out. The shoulders are coming up. Go down a little bit. Good, lay on your back. space in our body. Okay, let's do this. Turn your head to the right. Back to center. Left. Center. Okay, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear. Center. We're going to do some very gentle traction here.
Just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath, and as you breathe out, we're gonna follow the breath into this direction, and then we're gonna push like that, okay? Okay. Let's give it a try, deep breath in. Good, and then mm. we'll sink. <laughs> I feel like a cartoon character. I don't know why. Nice and gentle, following the breath, good. Just testing mm. first to see where we're gonna push. Got it all the way at the bottom here. Sinking in. Mm. Mm. very sunny. <laughs> I felt very sunny. Okay, I'm going to crack your toes now, okay, Valerie? That'd be great. Digestive organ manipulation, okay? Mm -hmm. First, we start with the ileocecal valve. This is where the small and large intestines meet. We find the valve by first finding the umbilical. Yours is probably there. Oh. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Right there. Now, the ASIS, the front of the hip bone here. Okay. We connect these two points. It's where we begin looking for the ileocecal valve. Mm -hmm. Yours is here. It's tender. It's... I feel it. It doesn't hurt. Okay, you're definitely working on stuff too. I can feel it in there. Okay, okay now we're gonna come up to the top of the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of funny. No. I need a second. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna push into your diaphragm now. So let's do some diaphragm, big belly breathing. Good. Out. Belly breathe, breathe into your belly, push your belly, there you go, that's it. Keep doing that.
Okay, I'm gonna give this a little pull. That's got arms to your belly. Okay, we're gonna use the towel to support you. Okay with that? Yes. Okay, we're gonna bring that like this. Okay, just like the other adjustments. I'm following your breath. Good. As you breathe out, we're gonna go like this, and at the end, we give a pull in that direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. been holding on to that. How many years ago was it? Sixteen, fourteen, seventeen years ago. Yeah. Like that moment of impact, that bracing, mm -hmm. that's what you just accessed. Almost to the day. It's amazing. That was just like, <laughs> never felt anything like that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because there is nothing like it. It's like, right when that happened, my first instinct was like, um, I think that was storing something i think something like left my body emotionally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um because there was a little bit of fear but then it was followed by like a deep inhale like I, that's what it was my body my body just did a like a, a whole exhale mm -hmm. energetically that's what it was i felt good it was like I was okay. Now it's still coming to me. So I was braced before. I was braced from the accident I talked about. I was mm. braced, and when you just did that, that was the exhale. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There's more movement. There's more flow. Mm -hmm. More swing. More lightness. Mm -hmm. I feel like me. I feel like me. Damn. Yeah, I feel like me again. That's how I feel. Your shoulder blades back together. Look up at the ceiling. Okay, just let that relax. Good. Look straight ahead. Oh, it's one of these. Mm. Is that Ayurvedic? Those are alchemical. Jupiter? Mm. Um, close. So that's the Saturn finger. It's Pluto and the Sun.
Mm. Good. And then push your elbow back against me here. Good. Push, push, hard as you can. Good, 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 good. Ah, oh, felt it. Right side, push, push. Oh. I'm gonna reach around the front and hold on to your elbow like this. We're gonna lean forward just a little bit. Good, again, I'm gonna re let that relax here. I'm gonna reach around the front here, hold on. Oh, that relax. Cool noise. The purpose of sound is to keep us present at the moment. Oh. Thinking in. 